Hey guys, it's your boy Creepers, and welcome back to Telltales of the Walking Dead. We're going to start off episode 2, and we were on this bridge now, after dealing with some walkers. As you do, as you do. Uh, he's fucking armed. Because he's a pussy. Think you see a little girl? Just don't make any sudden movements. I just see him. Well, that's a hell of a thing to say. I just see him. Well, if it comes to that, I'll shoot him too. Well, who are you? Who's asking? I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine? Tension is building. The least you could do is draw your gun, Luke. You're not gonna shoot anyone with a holster. Huh. Dumbass. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. And you're the one holding a gun. Ha. Owned. Touche. Who the fuck's this? Touche now. where we're going it's sort of my business considering i live here you live here yep here in my backyard i gotta say you two look like shit if you need food i've got some canned stuff in that station back there well that's uh awful nice of you what's the catch no catch i've got plenty well all right then thank you hey no problem nice running into friendly faces out here like I said, got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? The hell is he doing? Oh, God. What the... F Put the fucking gun down, Nick. No, 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 no. He's, he's with us. Shit! No! Oh, of course. And the gun is gone. Not only did Nick shoot someone who wasn't even threatening us, he fucking lost the gun, you idiot! What? Who was that guy? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick! I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. Gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Yeah, well done, dumbass. That's not only did you kill. Oh, someone, look, who's, who's a gun? And then, probably, a good bit of ammo, oh, as well. Oh, you also alert, hit all the fucking dead, you fucking idiot! I don't know, looked like he had a gun on him. That asshole drew on me, he was about to shoot. He was not about to shoot. He drew first. Shut up, Nick. Don't you dare give me those eyes. I will fucking end you. He put on my case the whole week. He wasn't, he wasn't going to anything. You didn't see shit. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't. Don't fucking talk about me. Would you like to join him? Because I will grab a blue gun and put a bullet in your useless head. Let's leave Nick here and let him get eaten by the zombies he attracted. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Fine, I'm out. Why did you ask me, you dumb shit? That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could send him out here. Real small fish, though. Why don't you go look, you lazy fuck? Of course you do. I'll be right behind you. Okay, this is your job. Go. Go. 
No, you're just going to sit there because you're all fucking useless. I doubt he'd lock it. He wasn't that far away. Of course he did, because why wouldn't he? There don't be a key around here. That man probably had it. Well, at least something good came out of this. Unless it breaks as soon as I try to use it. Woo, it didn't break. Hell yeah. Man, I thought we had a bear. Look at this gun. Guess he did have two. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. That's He's out of fucking control. He's out of control. That's what I'm saying. If he keeps on like that, he's going to get one of us killed. I mean, do you ever know anyone do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she just shot this other woman. Damn. What'd you do? We left her behind. We left her to die because she was useless and trigger happy and killed a really nice character. She looks just like you. That looks nothing like Clementine. There's not a lot of food here around. Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think you can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but and I never The whole group should decide. I know you. That bitch doesn't deserve any food. She's still a good girl. Food. She just needs if I had my hey way, I'd be leaving her hair with Nick. They could keep each other company until they were both eaten. The hell is that? What's the button? Oh, of course. Oh, Nick, look what you did. You fucking gimp poop. Nick, stay here. No. Oh, for fuck's sake, of course. And that dumb and pregnant bitch is coming. And the stupid daughter is coming. Just why? Just why? Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. Why don't you lie down and just accept death? I mean, you're bound to die eventually. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Yeah, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. I'll probably get a better view from up top. I'll have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'll be just like climbing a treehouse. Kind of stuff. A really tall treehouse. So what am I? Some monkey? Hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> well played, Luke. Well played. He's like, oh, hell no, I didn't say anything like that. Go. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. You better fucking catch me. I'm the only one keeping anyone in this group alive. Is up rooftop downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down though. Oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Look at me, okay? You're you're fine. All right, 
Just just slow down for a second, okay? Keep your voice down. Ha! Ha! What? Uh oh. You're quiet now? I thought so. Shoot. Made it. Who's saying? I can see the bridge. Uh oh. something what is it a light but wait there's two lights carver Luke. oh great now what climb down Clem come on it's not letting me climb down climb down Come on, you have to save these dumbasses again. Who snuck on the bomb this time? You fucking idiots. Can't you stay safe for like five seconds without me having to come to your dumbass to rescue you, you shitheads? Kenny? What the f What the fuck? Wait, you know this guy? Dude, you're supposed to be dead. I I thought you were dead. Now it's a ghost. Punch him in the face. That's the only way to know if he's real. Yo. Oh. Hands off the merchandise. Oh, oh, we're all friends now? Of course. What's that? Oh, yeah, saved by the little girl again. And and you're all useless. Could you put down the gun? Who gave that fuckhead his gun back? Take that shit off him. Sarita have been staying with us for several years. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walter. Walter here is one smart dumb bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well... Why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. No, you're not. You're putting your rifle down or giving it to somebody else. Kenny? You vouch for these people, Clem? No, they're all terrible. Tell me they're good, then I'm hard. I can't speak for everyone. Wait, why does it say Luke will remember that? He's the only one who's in any way useful. Down, look. A Christmas tree. Well, no. <sighs> Just fucking die, will you? Please. And your gun. And your gun. Or not your gun. Fine. If you insist. Luke is just gonna... Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you forget are. about his gun. And no one notices he has the gun. 
Right. Kenny, you've lost your vision. Oh, God. Why is there... Do not diss the hat. Boy, or you'll be... be dead. Again. This time for real. He saved me, then I shot him. Funny how that works. Your son was useless anyway. Where'd you end up? Oh, Eileen, I was alone. I found a sister on my knees, but she didn't know. I will go find Mary. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, Kenny. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine. Sister told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, you're lucky I do not have that knife. I gave her a hand and then we got into the best seat. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. How the fuck did you even get out of that situation? I'm pretty sure you're dead. I'm starting to believe more and more this is a dream. If Lee walks in here in a second, then I'll know for sure. Gosh, it's great to have you back. Do you sleep next to Mel? Clem, this is my turn. Although, why would Clem dream of another lady with hey, Walt, Kenny? Is still out there I mean, around? and we know well, her cat is dead. Right? But Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. When we do anything to help, you could use a hand out. That's actually the exact opposite of what she should do. She should stay out of sight. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? What are you implying? Kenny, you are pushing all the wrong buttons. Sarita have been a huge help. Happy and I barely knew what to do around here with what you We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with you is so important. I don't know what I'd do without you. Gosh, you remind me of my sister. I can't imagine what it's like. I managed to spy her. Now you really do sound like one of my sisters. And you sound like a teacher. I'll take that as a compliment, thank you. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? It looks great. It looks like mud. No, it doesn't. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a crumbly cake. Huh. It's fucking beans. Not much you can do wrong. Anyway. That does not look like me. It's not even the right skin color. Or why is everyone in this game racist?
could use some help. Here, Sarah, you go see some Shinmen up over there. You knew Tommy before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he stayed with me for a while. But you must be so glad. Did he say anything about before? No. He won't talk about before I met him. Well, have you consoled for little hope in this? Perfect. Now we just need to talk it out. You always had an angel on top of all this. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. It's been a week, man. We gotta be on our way. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? What do you think they are? Neighbors? Glenn, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? He zapped binoculars for you. I think someone was following us. How do you know? How does she know? We have to assume they're back there. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny, the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that one. Look, I don't care what that man says. This guy ain't here tomorrow. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. I'm, I'm afraid for Gary. Beth, what's wrong? I feel something. Come on. You got it. I'll be right back. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. Want me to put you out of your misery? It won't take too long. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I don't know. Yeah, chances are you won't be around to see the kid grow up. If the kid survives at all, no idea what happened to fucking Krista's kid. Fuck no. Good, my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine. You think so? Just need to get some food in me. Thanks for staying, sister. You ask that Walter guy when we're gonna go. I love you, silly girl. I hate it when you talk about me. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. Now get some rest in you. Yeah, fuck you, Luke, bitch. You want an angel? There's your fucking angel. Cool. That's nice, I guess. No, she won't. She'll be dead soon. I used to love this time of year. You know, all the dressed friends out here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing. Oh, that's a health hazard. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this quiet. They can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me a weakling. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. A little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. That doesn't really help. I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before. And, well, I'm curious. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh. Kenny's always been fucked up. I can manage, Ken. 
I said I got it. Always have to play the gentleman. If I tell you that I'm not in, you couldn't hear from the fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Forget about it. Right here, Clem. Yeah, I don't really like your group, so I'm gonna sit over here. Her. Her. Enjoy loneliness, bitches. There was no, he's okay. You think so? That guy, Big Al, he said they were on their own. These people are after them. We don't have to worry about that one. They'll go tomorrow and we can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. Keep staying for good. Thank you. Of course. This is like a dream. Damn it, I am so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you. They ain't eat much. Go away before you kill somebody else. Else you useless tosser. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so it's Luke and me. Luke and me. That sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. Sure. What the fuck is wrong with you, Kenny? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Sister and I are going there. It's supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land. Detroit, Cold Michigan? Walker Camp Club. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Clem. We're not staying. She's staying. Look, excuse me? Luke, listen to him. I have been, but... Kenny's my friend. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now, look, we've all had a long... Oh no, he fucking didn't. Tell me he did not just hit that. Yeah, his useless, 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 useless son. Did I mention he was useless? He was literally in the episode. To get killed. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of kids' stuff. I suspect they'll find Kenny here in some way. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything's fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I miss him. And he missed you, so I'm sure. They say the world is old, but I'll tell you a secret. 
People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the past. All we can do is continue to learn from the past, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure to think on his feet. Steiner. Have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch up on him. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature right now. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make a difference. Right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Steiner. There's almost nothing you can tell me that isn't wrong. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. He thinks that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not being a catastrophe. I was just going to check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. A spy. Sure. Shoot her. 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 Then we'll have to get some help. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? It's too dangerous. I can't let her in. Thank you. Blaney, the whole storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something I can use. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. Clem, take the gun and shoot her. Kenny's obviously not going to do it. Shoot her, Kenny. I have a little girl like you. I doubt that very much. How are they, Miss Davis? None of you killed me. I'm sorry. I didn't mean nothing by it. Where is the option to shoot this dumb bitch? Don't. G You're giving her shit? Don't give her anything. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the road. Thank you so much. I'll be so in need of it. You stay safe. You too. Shoot her. Shoot her. Seriously, Kenny. Put a bullet in her head. No, you're not. You freaking idiot. Ah, oh, balls, of course it was. So I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. I know he was. I'm sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet. We have to keep this quiet. Who knows what the hell he'll do if he finds out. So we should tell him. He's going to ask who did it. We're gonna kill him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Yes. We'd be better off with if it was Matthew and Walter sees it, it's him dead. It could be other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of Nick. And I'll find Walter and run an appearance. Oh, and uh keep an eye out for me. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, just nothing. I uh, just wanted to Check and see if you're okay. Nothing. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, man. It's nothing, really. Forget it. 
Look, Clint, just go do that thing. All right? Come on, Nick. Let's go find a beer or something. Should he really be fucking drinking? Oh, God. He found it. Of course he found it. And he took everything. Good. Brilliant. I've been robbed. Of course he has it. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Shit. Well, we'll find out what happens between Walter and Nick in the next episode. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did.